Today I am making sorrel, or we call it shoshka, fözelik. Um, I will clean my uh, shoshka, the stem, the leaf from the stem, because it's too thick. You can cut it a little bit and cooks faster, but you don't even have to do this, but I'm just showing you to chicken powder. One tablespoon. The chicken stock on any veggie stock, it tastes good if you put use that instead of just water. I will cook it down. It's already shrunk. Enough for two people. Okay, now I just have... I put my uh, sorrel here. Flour, because this will give me the thickness. I add a little sugar, one teaspoon. I add a little agave. So I am showing you how you can make it a little bit healthier if you don't like sugar. and um, Or you just make it with the agave. I adding the milk and I will... Rapeseed oil, you can use butter if you want to. And then I can add my puree. So I adding a little more. More milk, the color is changing. And now you have to cook it for two, three minutes because the flour has to be cooked. And then you taste it. If you need a little more sugar or agave or real salt, or a little milk because it's too thick, then that's it. This is the sorrel or shoshka is finished. That's how I make it. Everybody makes everything differently. I just have to say this, but that's how I make my shoshka or sorrel. I dropped in a little sour cream and made a little line to look better. This is the sorrel, cream of sorrel is ready for dinner. Because the sorrel is so del delicatessen here in California, I um, put the rest of it, what I just cooked in uh, water and with a little seasoning, freeze it and then uh, next time I can just add milk, flour and mix it and eat it.